ladies and gentlemen, still on Kabuga TV. <laughs> like I promised, we'll be traveling. Um, before we set off uh, for our next field work, we had our breakfast in Fort Porto. Amoti aboli mulikulungi. Those are some of the things I can't crab. <laughs> I'm one person who loves katoga and of course African tea, which is a little bit spiced. Um, and of course, to give me that energy <laughs> so that I do not sleep. <laughs> and of course, um, um, you can see all the preparations, yeah. Um, as you can uh, keep a good. Now, uh, here we are. Um, the roads here, all places green, trees around. <laughs> um, I realize that uh, people that are so close to uh, Rainsory Mountain. Um, a good agriculturalist, maybe because their soils are so fertile, yeah. Like they normally say, people in Chigese are good <laughs> agriculturalists. But um, I got challenged at at some point, yeah. Um, some months back, I was in Isinjiro district. Now, for the people that do not do not know where Isinjiro is, is um, just after. After um, Barara, yes, you just uh, when when you, ha- you when you are heading to Tungamoy, there is a road that leads you to uh, uh, Merhi. I think you use that road, and of course, uh, keep left. Yes, that's where Isinjiro is now. Let's keep away from that. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to tell you that um, people from Isinjiro also do some good uh, agriculture. And of course, they do some good farming. Yeah? Um, uh, their plantations are always straight with no uh, uh, trees to make them stable <laughs> and change in our local language. Over <laughs> in Nyonyo. I don't know where you grew up from, but that's it. And um, here uh, we are, and of course, one of us, Anga Ochino, Machimani. And um, it was uh, just next to the place where there were some humps. By the way, Lord Jesus, most of those who are on highways, make sure you always stop uh, once you maybe um, recognize the sound lamps in front in front of you. Yeah, make sure you also uh, be uh, careful when you're doing all that. Now we are in Kiswamba. I don't know how fast we are. <laughs> Uh, Kiswamba Rugendabara, that was our, our final destination. These guys uh, do a lot of agriculture. They do every every uh, every kind of crop growing. Yeah, uh, that was rice, and of course this is uh, maize. Uh, they do a lot of cereals, and of course some um, rejuvenous plants. As you can see, these are beans. Um, or, or in uh, what you're watching now, um. I, get, I I got to love these guys, and um, I got to learn a lot. They told me that they do not have a defined season. For example, now for us here in Chigezi, yeah, uh, we have some seasons. We have a dry season, we have a wet season. Now, a dry season, that's when maybe we do uh, preparations, and uh, maybe we try, we try cultivating the land and uh, get ready uh, or get set. Now, um, people here in um, uh, Binyangabo and, of course, the surrounding places, Renzuru area and, and as well as Tolo, for them, they do not have a season. They do not have a season. Once they, once they, they do their vests, uh, they clear their run and, of course, they start doing uh, a new uh, season. Now, um I go to also love people here. Uh, they love, they love uh, maybe learning so much, and uh, and of course uh, they they are always uh, uh, curious, curious. <laughs> they are always curious, to, trying to maybe um, uh, to know who is this person visiting their area code, and of course. Uh, who are these people? Uh, actually, here we were in some people's farms, 
and I'm um, trying to learn a lot a lot you guys uh, here are some of uh, the maize plantation here yeah? and uh, we were trying to uh, traverse a place and again and again uh, in this small place this sub county uh, called Rugendabara uh, I understand there are so many tribes here including my own the Bachiga and of course uh, still uh, in Kasese and of course uh, to be specific Kiswamba Rugenda Bar uh, and, uh, we are trying to learn explore I should start advocating for some line visit Uganda <laughs> here is my colleague trying to explain uh, deeply uh, scientific um, terms in agriculture he, he's telling you how the reguminous plants or reguminous plants uh, can keep nutrients in the soil and of course uh, trying to support you um, go ahead and do more farming in the next season without fail yes <laughs> he's an environmentalist and of course he loves the environment he does not like littering <laughs> papers and of course some polythene anywhere he wants he is a good practitioner yes and of course uh, you can see uh, uh, the local people uh, at, um, making us um, get to learn and of course making us explore more <laughs> um, I told you Kamboga TV is going to visit your area um, uh, some months back I was in Moroto but uh, I kept my phone in the pockets because I was in fear <laughs> that that's a, um, a maze plantation from maybe from a distance I was trying to capture here yeah? and of course uh, I'll, I'll show you something there is some guy Banga Mamu Jamani I know in Yumba Yakabi like as you can see so all this is maize plantation yeah on from the far side 